In this video, I'll show you how to make the graph uh, with the error bars, okay? Um, and I've only got five data points here because I don't want the video to be like a half hour long. If you've got 20 data points, my apologies, because if you're using Google Sheets, they don't make it easy to make custom error bars for each point. So what, what I'm going to show you is the workaround, okay? So we've got all this stuff. We've got the average. We've got the uncertainty, right? Um, I'm going to grab this stuff and make another thing here. So I'm going to do, uh, this is a control click for me, uh, paste special values. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the average. And what this does is it uh, it gets rid of the formula. It just takes the numbers that are there. Uh, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to uh, control click, paste special values, which is, by the way, command shift V for a Macintosh evidently, right? Okay. And then I'm just going to copy that and paste it here. It's already values, so it's good. And I don't really care about the decimal places here um, at all, really. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to make each data point its own series. Watch. Just slide it over make a little... You know, if you're playing bingo, this is very satisfying. It's like, whoa. Okay. So now we've got a series that is all of them, and we can use that to make a trend line. Then we've got a series for each point, and that way we can put error bars on it. I'll show you. Okay. So select that stuff, insert chart. Now, you know, fingers crossed, it does weird things sometimes when you insert a chart. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so let's go in here and tell it that we want a scatter graph. And that, whoo, <laughs> we dodged the bullet. <laughs> okay, uh, there it is, right? Um, the legend. I'll leave the legend there, but ultimately the legend has to go away because, you know, what is that, right? It betrays what we're doing. Okay. Um, let's go in here and customize this. Uh, horizontal axis. I feel like we should give the graph room. So let's go zero. You always want zero, almost always, right? And then if that thing is right on the edge, I feel like that's kind of not so good. So I'm going to go zero to six. That way we've got space around it, right? Um, and then, uh, whoops, let's go vertical axis here. It's already good, right? It's going to two, but if that point is right up against the thing, uh, you know, change these values. I think it will be for the data you're using. But I'm going to tell it that I don't want it to do anything but zero to two because zero to two looks good. Okay, I don't believe I don't trust the default behavior of something like this, right? Okay, so now now we've you know it's, it's looking fairly good here, right? Okay, and um, let's go in here to the series, and here's where you can add error bars. Okay, but first before we do that, I don't really like the circles, so apply to all series. I like. I don't know, you could triangle diamond. Let's do that. Let's make them smaller, shall we? Can you make them three? Let's try this. Three. Yeah, three's nice. You don't have to choose one of those things. Okay, this is good. Okay. And now what we want to do is we've got to go in and put those error bars in. Okay. So let's move the graph. Because we're going to need to see that uncertainty. I guess I need to make the graph a little smaller or get a bigger screen. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. Um, all right. So now, now we're going to go in. Notice that the first one needs an error bar of 0 0.09. Okay. Yeah. So let's go in here and um, do this guy. Error bars. And then it gives a percent, right? We want a constant. Which, of course, make it really big, right? Until we tell it that it's 0.09. There we go. That's a reasonable error bar. Um, I also don't like the fact that they're different colors, and IB will see that. So let's make them black, or just pick one color. Okay. Now, guess what? <laughs> that's, the, that's the first one, right? Data Series 2. Now let's go to Data Series 3. Let's make it black. Let's go uh, error bars. And that one is 0 0.06, right? And let's tell it that it's not a percent, but it's a constant. Okay, 
Now, let's go to data series four. Data series four. One, two, th oh, one, two, three, four. That's point zero eight. So let's make it black. Error bars. Point zero eight. Oh, it's a percent. <laughs> let's make it a constant. There we go. I'm like, well, that's too small. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to um, data series five. This one's going to be 0 0.07. Make it black, 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 0 0.07. <laughs> All right, this must be really thrilling. I should tell a joke. Okay, let's see. Let's go uh, whoop, make it black. And the last one is 0.09. Uh, da, 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 0 0.09. Okay. And let's make that a constant. All right, this is awesome. Okay. It's looking pretty good here, isn't it? Okay, so let's go to uh, series, the one that's called average, right? Because that one's all the points. Uh, I feel like we want a trend line, don't we? Hmm. <laughs> there we go. And I think we should label it with the equation. Now, here's the problem, is that it puts the equation in the legend, and we want the legend to go away, okay? So I'm going to copy that. And, uh, and then let's go back here and go to legend and let's make it go away. Okay, so now what do we do with that equation? Well, let's make that equation appear maybe in the title. I don't know. I think you can maybe put, uh, okay, chart title. Uh, force versus distance. Okay, space, 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 y equals paste. There we go. Well, this is now just a text box up here, right? So I don't think you need the little asterisk, right? Everybody's going to understand that. All right. I think that looks good. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Now let's, um, let's look at grid lines and stuff, okay? Because you're going to ultimately need to read things off this graph to get the slopes of your max and min line. You don't know that yet, but you're going to. Okay, so, oh, let's give it uh, uh, axes titles. Let's see, horizontal axis. Uh, for uh, stretch distance. Distance in uh, centimeters. Or you could go distance. Ooh, that's got a certain... Je ne sais quoi. Let's see, vertical axis. Uh, and this is uh, force in Newtons. Okay. And then look at your, um, we've already done the horizontal. Let's look at grid lines. Okay. Horizontal axis. I feel like the major one, major spacing is step. Let's make it a step value of one. There we go. I like that. Let's make uh, the, and if you do count, by the way, it's the number of grid lines between. So if you say 10, it'll divide it into 11 spaces. <laughs> so I'm going to say step. Step's easier to think about. I'm going to go 0.1. There we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? I'll be able to read these, these points there. Okay, let's look at the vertical axis. Okay, step. It's stepping by 0.5, but I'm going to tell it to just keep doing 0.5. Okay, and then uh, let's go. Uh, how about 0.1? Step 0.1 seems to be good. Yeah, oh, I have a good feeling about that. All right, so now we've got um, different error bars on each point. We've got a title, we've labeled our axes. Okay, um, I have a really good feeling about this, and this is this is what we need to do. I think this is this the final product. I think it is. Hoo 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 hoo. Can't think of anything else. All right.